Hello, I'm Marielle Gauthier, Certified Executive and Personal Coach, and welcome to the Power Up Your Retirement Lifestyle program. I'm looking forward to our conversation I'm going to have with our guest today, so let's get started. His name is David Friesen, and he's the co-founder of the first uh, man shed in Canada. So David, welcome. Glad to be here. So tell us, David, what is, what is a man shed? Man shed's a place where uh, re basically retired guys can, can just hang out. Um, we uh, do uh, different different activities. We play cards, drink coffee, uh, do carving, uh, diamond willow stick making, and stuff like that. Um, all for the sake of having men for camaraderie. So how long ago did, when did this man shed begin? And was I right? Is this the first one in Canada? This is the first man sheds in Canada. It started out in 2009 with an idea. And uh, so we, we started from there. This, uh, uh, Mackie and I uh, sat in the club room drinking coffee and playing crib. By ourselves for a while until we got this thing going. So why was it important for you and Doug to, to bring this to Winnipeg? When Doug introduced the idea for me, uh, I kind of looked at it kind of skeptical because the idea was to do, uh, do something for retired men. A lot of men retire from their work and then they say, oh, and basically they sit at home uh, and watch TV or play on the computer and get very bored. It's also been found that uh, men, uh, retired men are one of the largest group to uh, successfully commit suicide. Uh, and, and part of it is because uh, depression sets in from not doing anything. Men, uh, quite often, and, and mostly the men that we find come to our club are, are, are fellows that have been executives in business through life, and uh, they look forward to retirement, but when they get there, uh, their life is empty. And so that's why we decided to start the club. So do you have a, have some of the men told you their story as to how they felt from working full time their career to post career? Uh, yes, some of the men have told us. So can you tell me just just let me know a little bit about what it was like? What did they find so difficult from going from career to to retirement? Uh, just the fact they had nothing to do. Spending time by themselves. The other, the other motivation we found for guys joining the club is their wives tell them to go out and do something because <laughs> uh, they're at home. Uh, the, the home is usually the woman's domain, and uh, here these guys quit work and they're underfoot at home. Uh, the wife wants to do something and the guy is in the way, and this and that. So uh, they find him really need to get out of the house and, and get some association with other guys. Okay. So tell me about, uh, oh, we have a friend who's joined us, right? He's a, the Hi. dog of one of your, hey, one of your members. Yes. Um, so, so tell us, what exactly do you do? Like you meet how often? Pardon me? How often do you meet? Oh, we meet two days a week. Uh, Tuesday is kind of a, a quiet day. We, we usually play crib or other board games and drink coffee. On Wednesdays, we have a, uh, a quite, quite busy year, and we get up to about 35 men who are either uh, doing a craft of some sort. There's some guys that are uh, doing stained glass work. We have a, uh, uh, several guys that do diamond willows, uh, walking stick making. We have others that do bark carving. And uh, we've, we've had a few other projects go on. So are these, the, the skills that they're doing, the, 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 uh, the, the crafts that they're doing, 
Were they already working with their hands prior to coming here? Um, most of the guys have never done crafts in their life. And, and I guess this is part of why they've been at home board because they had no hobbies. And this gives them something interesting to do, something different to do. Based on your conversations with them, what has this given, this, this coming together twice a week, what has this given the men in this group? I would say a place of security, um, especially like I was told you earlier, some, some guys have uh, dementia, there's some guys with Parkinson's and stuff like this. It gives them a secure place where they can go to a safe place, uh, a place where they won't be judged, and a place where their spouses know that they're safe to, uh, and uh, they'll be accepted for what and who they are. Well, it sounds like you're very comfortable here. I am very happy, very comfortable. Um, if I miss a mention two or three, two or three meetings, I'm very upset. They seem to... Um... So what would you, would you give any advice to men that are close to retirement? What would you tell them? I would tell them to do the same thing I did. Come out to the club, sit down, come out. And you know, come two, three days, maybe I took one of them. And why did you start coming here? Uh, mainly because of the just the camaraderie uh, about, among a bunch of people who are at the same stage of life I'm in. Uh, my wife died about almost two years to the day from now, and it's just very lonely in the house with no other adults around. So uh, here, there's a bunch of men in the same position. Uh, and uh, we enjoy each other's company. And what is it you enjoy doing when you're here? Well, I don't do much except drink coffee. Uh, I drink lots of coffee while I'm here. Uh, and on Wednesdays, I, I came along and uh, I never thought of making a cane before, but um, uh, that's what several of the men were doing, so that's what I'm doing. And it's good for me because the nerves in my legs don't conduct properly, so I have balanced coffee. And the, the stick is my best friend now. Uh, it keeps me balanced. So pretty useful then. Very useful, yes. I'm going to make four or five of them. I think it's good to get out away from home where you're not just you know, sitting in front of the TV. And you're not alone all the time. Uh, except for on Fridays when my grandkids come over, I'm alone a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. and so this gives me a break when I'm actually out with somebody else twice a week. So how about you? You started this, was it nine, nine years ago? Yes. Yes? Yes. Why did you do this? Well, the wild part is, uh, the idea was given to me two weeks after I retired. So some of the things I'm telling you, I haven't experienced personally, which is kind of different because I, I see other guys come in and uh, that have experienced it, and I haven't. And it, it's, it's like it's extended my work life. I've never really retired because I'm still doing this. So, um, but the thing that I saw was that it could help other guys, not realizing how much it helped me because it, it keeps me socially active and, and with something, a purpose in life. So, um, what did you retire from? What did you do? I was in the window business for 40 years. I, I worked 30 years for a company called Humphrey Products, and then I spent the last 10 years running my own business to go to door and window and the job. So you mentioned the word purpose. Does this fulfill you? Oh yeah, very much. Very much, yeah. Because I'm involved with the leadership. I don't know. So, do you have a piece of advice for, well, for people close to retirement, but especially men, you know, who's maybe thinking of retiring a couple, you know, two years out? What would you, what would you say to that person? I would say uh, find a hobby uh, or a group of people that you can associate with on a regular basis, uh, because you really do need the camaraderie and you need the uh, just to be able to talk to somebody thing I was going to tell you before is 
we found that uh, the guys working with their hands, uh, men tend not to talk to each other. When they're working and doing crafts side by side, they tend to open up and, sh and share some of their personal stories and what's going on in their life. And, and that is a, is a good thing. Do you find that it's easier for men to open up to men, other men? Yes. Yes, if their hands are busy. You kind of forget and just start talking, right? <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. Uh, we've had guys come in here, and the first couple of weeks that they're here, they don't say a word to anyone, because they think that they're all alone with their troubles. And then they start talking. And then they find out that uh, most of us are diabetics. Many of us have had cancer. Uh, a few of us have had heart issues. Uh, there really is no topic that's taboo. Uh, we, we do a thing on Tuesdays about once a month. We call it uh, Health by Stealth, or Tuesday Talks, the official name. But it basically talks about different uh, uh, di items of men's health concerns. Oh, is it just to talk about amongst yourselves, or do you actually bring in a health we, professional? We bring in speakers oh, okay. from, from different health professionals, like somebody like you, or anywhere. Uh, and we've had a, a variety of speakers. So you really notice the difference. Um, like the benefits, you really see how the benefits help. That's right. These guys that I said that uh, won't talk to anybody, um, they'll, they'll, they'll be quiet, they'll watch, they'll listen, and then they'll spout out whatever is their health issue and find out that they there's a, a world of experience right in the room. And it opens them up, and the next thing you know, hey, I'm normal. Yeah, they're not, and they're not alone, right? Other and people, alone. people can that's understand right. and relate to them. Yeah, that's right. That's the most important thing. Not alone. I'm going to thank you very much. Yes, Thanks you for your time, welcome. and I'll let you get oh, back to your guys. Great. All right. I would love to hear from all of you who have watched this video, and I would like you to tell me a little bit about what you, about what you stood out for you, and how will this information help you prepare for your own retirement, and what action will you take because of this information? So please leave me your comments on these questions in our community group fa uh, Facebook page. And in closing, keep on thinking about what you want and how you want to live the second half of your life. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. I'm Marielle Gauthier with Redworks Coaching. Have fun creating your extraordinary life.